one owner car guy and what I'm going to do here today for you I'm going to call an export video a Netherlands video Belgium Germany Netherlands anywhere where you say value added or MOT VAT any kind of TAX that they may C-A-H-R-G-E-Y-O-U any kind of car that you save that on that's pre-87 over there I've got a lot of and I'm gonna go around my lot here and kinda show you some of them I'll show you the inside there a little later and just kinda go around and show you what I got got a 78 Peugeot wagon nice car one owner 92,000 original miles look at the seats and interior take a second for my camera to hit but this is a beautiful one owner car uh, original title the interior is just beautiful the wood backing and everything on there I gotta open the door and show you I love this about a Peugeot and I've showed this in some of my walk arounds supposedly I have this sold um, the guy bounced three checks off me for the deposit so I don't know 92,000 on it it's for sale uh, 79 Ford Fairmount wagon awesome car 40,000 original miles one owner super super clean not rusty anywhere or anything like that California classic car I mean look at this thing it's beautiful I'll show you the interior here and it's harder here in the sun and such but just absolutely beautiful clean as can be um, 40,000 original miles and he's got even got the Precaution safety sticker there on the wheel. Great car, great for export. Uh, 74 Pontiac Catalina 455, great car. As you can see, there's a trim piece off here that needs to be restuck. Now, this car, this car, that car, there's full videos on my channel as you can see. Um, this is a great running um, one owner 455 Catalina wagon. It's got the clamshell tailgate. And thanks to one of my YouTube subscribers for telling me what the name of it's called. Uh, there's a full review of this one on there. Here's your clamshell for you. The old 74 here is sold, 455 car. Ah, extra emblem. 76 American Diesel 300D for sale. Nice little Mercedes. Um, just click, click, clicks right away. Oh, this one's so sold. Um, 87 560 SEC. That one's sold. Ooh, 81 Honda station wagon. Great shape, little Civic. Runs good. Needs your. I was going to do the seats in it. The edges are good, but as you can see on this side, the middle is not. That side is dirty, but the seats all hold together. The front ones need to be redone too. Headliner's okay. Um, I believe it's 75,000 original miles. Doors and everything are solid. Not a rusty car. If this is what you're looking for, this is one of the cleanest you will find for sure. Nice newer tires on it. Whoever had it just took care of this car. And it's a nice little car. 85 Lincoln Town Car. Great for export also. also. Big old 5.0. Man, I would have to have me a big V8 over there. Especially if nobody has one. I mean, the taxes you guys pay on that and the way it goes on the newer cars, it just truly amazes me. It's a lot. I think we pay more income tax over here and you guys have more tax on goods. I'm going to leave that for now. Honda, Lincoln. You can see the hood's faded. And I haven't done nothing about detailing most of these. The, them I did and I did a full review. Um, 90, town and country. Um, or excuse me, Colony Park Mercury. Um, this here van, I don't know how you do on commercial rigs, 50,000 original mile Windstar. This right here, it's been lowered, but it is a 85, 63,000 original mile. I gotta show you the seats. Just absolutely beautiful. Clean as can be. Momo wheel. Tight, tight doors and everything. A little fade mark on it there. And that's going to the UK. Um, 300 CE, I'll sell that cheap, but a little bit too new for Netherlands and all over there. Um, 
500 SL, 84 or 85 model. There's a dip in the door there. Never noticed that. I'm thinking my guys did it. Didn't bend the trim though. Can't beat that at all. But definitely got that little ding there too. Euro bumper, 500 SL. Let me know. This one's good car. I was gonna. They locked my car up with the keys in it. That's not good. A little bit of extra something I'm gonna do to the seats there. But for the most part, it's a great shape car. How many miles? This was very low mile. Yeah, 79,000 original miles. Um, and it was a one owner car, I believe. S500 W140. A little bit new to take over there, maybe. Um, Euro model. Uh, 733, 735. Very, very cool green. I love the coloring on this car. Now this is a manual car, 735. I. If you watch my channel much, you know that I don't do as many Beamers. I do the one and two owner thing. And you get to a six or a seven series and one owner and one owner car guy falls in love. Um, I do like the older BMWs and a lot better than the newer ones. I think their quality fell off a long ways before Mercedes. This is a great car. These cars run good and just are great cars. Um, this guy, look at this. He actually has all his, I might have shown this in a previous video, all his services and everything he ever done to it is in this book. And it is a true Euro model. Everything smog, huh? That's interesting. Unten. Um, I can't, I can't see. Klima. Kaut. I can't see that stuff. I'm not that way. I'm just not that smart on languages. Um, but as you can see, everything's called out the way it is. 151. That battery's unhooked. Man, the guy must. Jeez, uh, I mean, it's a log. It's a log they split up to put in this thing. Manual. This car's fun to drive. It really is. Uh, 71, 70, 250. See, oh, I gotta show you on this. Super clean California classic. This car is not rusty or anything in any way. Oh, the hood's open. We'll show you that. I got a little bottom radiator hose I'm fixing. I just love how big the heads are on these cars. I mean, it's a huge straight six, man. They pulled the load with this, I think it's a 3.5, until they did the, um, the V8s and the 740s. A little dink in the piece there. A little bit of corrosion starting right there, and that's the worst on the car. Um, I love the black top and the yellow bottom, different colored ones on these. Hole in the seat, as you can see there, but super, super clean. And all these are for sale, and oh, it's tight too. Now, I don't know how your laws are in Netherlands about the commercial trucks, like I say, but I got a nice Ford F250. Complete review on my channel. This is a 92, I think, 92, let's see, 92, and the interior, huh, this is a one owner truck, there's only 69,000 original miles on it, absolutely beautiful, and this truck's cheap, a little bit of corrosion right here, down there, and on the other side too, same thing, I can get it fixed cheap. Okay, 85 Old Cutlass Supreme SL. Is that what this is? We'll see here. I think it's Cutlass Supreme for sure. Yes, sir. I ordered three more of these. Actually, I ordered a set of four to where I had a set of four. Um, that's all I could find, a set of three. Beautiful. This car is so clean. Now, I haven't buffed this thing, detailed this thing, nothing. It's got 75,000 original one owner miles. So you can see his sunshade and his club in the back there still. Tight, non-hanging doors. 
This thing is clean, it runs good, drives good. I actually cannot wait to get it done to where I can drive it around. Um, nice car, good for Netherlands, good import there, it's 85. 1994, not good for import, but 36,000 original mile convertible Cutlass Sierra, Cutlass Supreme. The Sierra is smaller. That's too new there. Uh, 9091 Subaru, all wheel drive, out back. Wildcat, 1970 Buick Wildcat, 455 car, clean interior, clean exterior. This thing has sat here on my lot for about six months because I want to redo it. I never get to do what I want. Never do I get to do what I want. And I'm gonna end up just selling it, I'm sure. Um, I like them because not everybody has them. Everybody's got a Caprice or a Cap Impala or whatever. And they don't have the cooler trim and stuff like the Buick Olds and Pontiac. Got the, was, I think they put a Riviera cap on it though, somehow. I think it says Riviera. Rocker panels are in great shape, and as you can see, not all rusted out or nothing. Solid, solid, clean California car. All the chrome's good, all that good stuff. And like I say, I'm wanting to restore it. I'm just probably not going to get to. Okay. Travel all 70, 71, somewhere in there. Um, beautiful truck, two owner truck, 100,000 original miles on the truck. Um, the guy watched it turn over from the, he got it from the original owner and then watched the odometer turn over for the first time. And this thing has a fresh rebuild on it. I've got like six grand worth of receipts for it where the guy just redid everything. Um, interior, I believe, is a, yeah, it's original, he said. And a little slice right there. You can get, I can get that fixed cheap if you wanted. The headliner's beautiful. Dash is not all cracked up. This one's going inside here when another one leaves. Um, I should show you under the hood. The, under the hood is beautiful. There's a full review on my site. There you go. You want to see it? Look on there. Um, full review on it. Um, I think I took 30 minutes to take a test drive and everything. Well, that's my upper lot. Um, I'm going to go down below now. And you can see I got lots of old stuff here. Got a 450 SEL there. This is going to serve as a lot walk around too, I guess. But the main reason is for an export video. I've got so many people asking me from over there right now. And a lot of my dealers recontacting me where I just gotta get you guys show you what I've got. And just watch this and kick it around. If there's something you like, hit me up. Ask me about it. I'd be glad to make you a deal on just anything that there is. Um, and a lot of it ain't been detailed or yet or anything like that, like I say. My soda got so hot while I was up here, I don't want to drink it. I'll leave it here for now. 80... This one is a 90, a 90, 420 SEL, too new for over there, but beautiful if you're in America, or I think Germany might have better tax laws on imports for years, not sure. I've been driving this one for, until the last couple days, and it's beautiful. 85 Seville, one owner, low miles, black, yeah baby, it's got everything around here is going to have a layer of dust on it, and I'm sorry about that, but not the main walk around and I don't have them all cleaned up I'm just showing and man does this one show it's got right at a hundred thousand on it original miles I love these slant back V8 Cadillacs they're just beautifully ugly there you go they are beautifully ugly um, so that's that now now uh, we'll go this way 77 Ford Bronco they only made this one for two months. Um, very rare truck. Tires on a couple of these older ones are just not good. Um, this is not a rusty rig. It's a California rig. Um, around the window is all good. Convertible. You know, I basically, I'm thinking about restoring this thing totally. Um, once again, I'll probably just up, end up sending it down the line the way it is. But, it's a nice thought. It's a nice thought. 68, 71, 72, 68 to 72, 280 SE. Going to be parting that out if you need anything on it. Um, 55,000 original mile Buick Regal, too new. Ooh, 280E. Needs some plug wires and stuff. Super clean little car. 
The only problem on this one, it's starting a little bit of corrosion around the window on this side. Everything else is clean. Interior is clean, but look at how clean them seats are. And it's just a cheaper car where I'll sell it so cheap it's pitiful. So cheap it's pitiful. But just the way it is, the guy might end up, I might end up parting it out. 129 on a 280E. It's in great shape. It runs. But then we had to get some plug wires, and I'm not going to put the money into it right now. This is sold. 68, 69 custom cab camper special, baby. Awesome truck. I'll sell that and export it. Or I'll, imp I'll send it anywhere. I'll send it right down the street. Right to uh, Arizona. There we go. Coupe de Ville. 77, 78, 79. Um, beautiful car. Great shape. I replaced the computer and a couple things in this one. This is a 77. Uh, 73 Sierra Grande. I'm coming up on 20 minutes here too. I think all I get is 20 on this video. It's a beautiful truck. One of my favorite running out of all the older trucks like this I have. It just runs and drives great. Don't know if this is original. Um, looks it. I love the Buffalo on this one. And I got a Chevy one over there. The Sierra Grande was the AC fully loaded. Yeah. Foul, fake wood on the uh, dash everywhere. And um, even on the selector switches for the radio. AC, great truck. It, I ain't got batteries and nothing. The Fiat's going to be a parts car, unfortunately. Two coupes here. Two more coupes. Curb feeler on that one. I had another guy ask me for more video on this one. Until I pull it out and actually do the big, big video, I don't have nothing like that. I will show down the sides though and show that it's super clean, super straight. A little dip there. A little, he scratched along it at the auction. Um, you can see though, super solid because he had his curb feeler, so he never hit nothing. Um, See, we ain't even. When I finally clean it up, is when I'll throw things in there in the upgraded picture. But you can see it's a clean car, and the paint's good. It's got dust on it. Little bubble right there. It's the only one I've seen so far. Super straight going down the doors. Interior. The seats are one of the most beautiful things on this car. Let me see this show you. Just in great shape. Nice, cushy, padded seats. Yeah, that would tell me. This one's a runner, and I'm sure you replace a hose or a belt or something, but and all this stuff here, I'll end up blowing that off. It just gets all over the motor and makes a mess. Clean car. I'm not going to push that down right now. We'll wait a second. So that is that one. Then I have this one. Flat tire. That's why it looks lower. Um, this one does not run. This is a plug wire type issue. All the wires have been frayed through. Clean car, but look at the back on there. Beautiful. These cars are severely undervalued. Um, there's a full review on this one. Well, that ran me up to the full... 20 minutes there. Uh, like I say, these things are severely undervalued. And this one is really clean, not all rusted out or nothing. Super nice little car. Uh, timing of the day makes it kind of hard to show you just how nice the interior is. Night would be better for it. Or not night, but evening without that sun on this side of the whole world. 
this side of the whole world. Now this one, they stole my wheels at the auction and actually put these things back under it. This is a 62,000 original mile um, Caddy Seville. It's in great shape, it runs great, has a, a bad injector. And I'm gonna, I don't have that little tool to tell me which one it is. M1009 Cuck V there, military. That is too new to import. Um, this one here, 84, 85, 86 military Cuck V. Um, Dana 44, I believe, in the axles. Dana something big. Um, I mean, it's clean enough inside. There's a full review on it here on my channel. My God, that's taking a long time to show up. There we go. Project type thing. Um, I, I, I'm getting rid of this. Take 950 bucks. Um, this one, head this thing over to the Netherlands. I actually sold this to a guy from Australia. He actually left it sit here for six months. Um, couldn't finish the deal. He just couldn't finish the deal. And oh well. So I was actually fixing a few more things on it before I relist it. Um, it's got this little sleeper in it, which is too cool. Trying to let that light adjustment hit. There we go. So a sleeper in the box van. Awesome. Um, and this has a rebuilt, was it a 400 in it? Nice tires, all brand new, titties on them. Somebody just put these on it. And super cool in the back too. They lock this? They lock this on me. Oh wait, there we go. That can't be right though. It's not, you can't open that side first. Nomad trailer. Um, as far as the year, I don't know the year. I think it's an 88, so too new to import. 92 van, too new to import. I've kept this aside because it's so cool. Oldsmobile Starfire Borg Warner five speed manual car. And on top of that, you got one owner, original mile car. This was a daily driver until I got it. Um, and now it's something that I just want to restore. <clears throat> the seats are beautiful. I really would like to redo this one. I love the louvers on it. Louvers. Louvers. Louvers on it, also. However, I say it both ways, man. I don't know. I ain't trying to offend nobody. I love these cars. It's a cool little rare car. That's what it's about, right? Something that somebody else don't have. 77, 8, or 9 Seville. I've got about three of these right now. Um, this one's got a little bit of issue right there. Cherokee. They beat the heck out of this thing at the auction. So we took the door panels off and got a couple of the dents out a little bit. Uh, manual car, so I gotta get the door panels back on. Manual, one or two owner with 118 on it. Nice little leathered out, loaded truck. The van. And I'm gonna let this here focus. Got the 46 Ford in here. Man, that sure focuses once it does. And um, as you can see, we are way into it. And somebody asked me, well, is it not worth it to you just get new parts? Well, you just wouldn't believe how pulled out this thing is now. And almost smooth as can be. We just gotta weld this piece and a couple welds here. Creases. And I'll tell you what, this bad boy is back on. I went back together and it'll be all painted out. And I tell you, you're never gonna know. And I'm sure there'll be some kind of, not sure there will be, there is gonna be some kind of filler somewhere, you know, kind of skin coated. But there's gonna be even less than what this guy had on it, probably. I mean, there's just, it's just, we got it clean and straight. That's my point. Being taken apart and done right. All the brackets all straightened and ground down to metal. This is a nice car. I've got a more full review of it on here. Well, my name is Nathan. I'm going to go show you some more stuff here, but it's 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. 
got this here old U-Haul, Honda Line 350. Um, it's a diesel, and it's a great runner. Got an old PG&E truck, 4x Ford F250. This truck only has 60,000 miles on it, uh, 55,000, somewhere in there. Nice truck. Um, Porsche, 84, 5, or 6. Great for export. Um, 101 on it. Manual. Very clean. Very straight. Not rusty and all thrashed or nothing. That's your old foam dial wheels. Very, very clean. And I'll sell this one super cheap. Um, got a little upper end noise on the top end there and it's cheap it's one owner too very well taken care of call me up my name is Nathan 406-544-6919 um, this here is 730 I want to say 5 but every time I guess it it's a 5 it'll be a 733 or something or maybe it was just the 6's that were 33's I don't know 75,000 original miles and I showed you the manual Euro model up top 735i okay clean and straight <clears throat> ooh the CRX What year is what I was going to look at here? Um, 87. Sorry, people. 81,000 original miles on an 87. <clears throat> Missed you by a year or two. And I think this is too new, too. LTD Crown Vic. This is a super nice car, though. That's old enough, but this is one heck of a beater car. Got the Chinook. Awesome on the inside. In fact, I'm going to have to show you that. Um, I'm waiting for my guy to come around the edge here to where I can tell him to open the bottom for me. I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside real quick. Super, super clean. The cool thing about these is fiberglass one piece, baby. Kind of hard to mess that up and make this mildewy and leaky. I mean, they hold together very well. All the utilities or um, appliances in it are in great shape. Five hundred cubic inch. Yes, sirree. Well, I think I'm getting about halfway through this. <clears throat> Time isn't what I'm worried about here. It's more of just, yeah. Corrado, that's too new to import over there. Now, I, I export all kinds of stuff, and you just call me if you got any questions. Thunderbird Super Coupe, beautiful supercharged, 45,000 mile or so car. There's a full review of this one on there. Trent, I need the bottom opened up in about 10 minutes when I'm heading that way. Have the keys. The Mercury is going to New Zealand. I got a 70 or 71 Lincoln Continental Town Coupe or just a Lincoln Continental. Just a Lincoln Continental, I think. Yeah. Not just. Just the difference of the car. And it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm thinking about painting it um, and putting a top on it. Inside is just nice as it gets. And I love these old cars like this. 300 SD. Nice 300 SD. Oh, and this one's a great one for export, by the way. Um, it's not the cleanest of all of them I've had, but it's 130,000 actual miles. It was one or two owner, I believe. And, um, the seat, you can see, is a little mess there. The glove compartment door. But it's a good runner. 
fires right up and runs great. Um, cheap. 85 model Pontiac 6000. 63,000 original miles. One owner. Tan interior in just beautiful shape. No wear on nothing. <clears throat> and I just took the video of this one. It should be up right about now. I just don't know if I've actually uploaded it yet. Too new for Netherlands here, but 90.91. Um, oh, this ain't. And it's been sitting on my dirt lot. Econoline 150. Needs to be cleaned up. Got dust all over it. Inside. It's just clean as can be. Let this low level light adjustment hit here. There we go. High top. Camper top. Whatever you want to call it top. National Traveler, huh? That's what she says. This is one owner or two owner and really low miles also. Um, back to the 300 here. Nice 300. 92,000 miles. I believe it was one or two owner. Most 99% of the stuff here is, is 94,000. Uh, Dodge Ram Diesel, a Ram 250 LE, I believe. LE? Yeah, it's an LE. Got the Buffalo on the High Sierra, got the Ram on the Ram. A little dusty and dirty, but clean as can be. 99,000 original miles. Um, Cummins Turbo Diesel, too new for Netherlands, but nice car. Manual GTA. Manual, too new to export for cheap. 633 CSI Coupe, 62,000 original miles or so. I don't remember. But no, it's not all rusted, it's clean as can be. I've let this one just sit around for a while because I absolutely want to paint it. It's got the oxblood red interior. It's still got all its cush to it and everything. See, you make a toot sound. 67. Thousand original miles. Sixty-seven Jeep Cherokee. Also, um, this is a cool Jeep. Um, tires are flat on this side, makes it kind of bad. Paint came off on the top surface and got kind of a patina, but it's not unsmooth and it's not rusted through, except for a little teeny bit right in there on the sides. I love it when they got all this trim and all the chrome looks good. All three pieces are on the back here. This is a nice Jeep. Doors open and close nicely. These things are loaded to the hilt. This one's a 4x, of course. Headliner's in great shape, except for a little tear over there. And... Tight, tight. 85 Scottsdale 10. Black 8. Over there, I wanted to send you guys a picture of that. Um, you guys do a lot of that kind of stuff. This is a 454 Suburban. It was a one or two owner. Now this Seville back over here. This is a little cleaner, but you're still starting that around the Landau or Vogue top. This one needed a seat redone. Um, didn't have a lot of miles. And the back was very clean. But the front is, as you've seen there, in need of a seat. And it's not a rusty truck. This is a clean. This here's a one or a two owner um, Scottsdale Suburban thing here. It's in great shape, not a rusty rig. 454, all the corners. We're all good, all the doors are good. Teeny bit of bubble start right there. Just beautiful, I love these California rigs. Just super, super clean. Uh, these are front seat done. Well, it's got a seat, it just needs it done. The backs are beautiful. Uh, rear air, all the options, third row. Great for export. Uh, like I say, I got a lot of these Seville's. I hate to part them out. But one or two of them will probably end up there. They're in great shape. Uh, deserve to be restored. 
I just don't have the time um, to do everything the way it should be. 73 GMC, actual GMC motorhome. Oh, baby. These are what you want right here. Actually made to be a motorhome and not some cabin chassis with some piece of fiberglass bolted on it. These here, front wheel drive, 455. Woo, buddy! 73. Import right into the Netherlands. And right here, got a nice 300 TD. Bright red. Beautiful in and out. New set of chrome bunt wheels for Michelin tires. I like new Michelin. I gotta look at that again because I had a guy ask me. Yeah, little titties everywhere. These things are just like new. 88 wagon. That's not something that can be exported very easy. 63 Dodge Dart convertible. Slant 6, I believe. Got the grill in the back. I love that logo in the seats. I'll try and save it somehow. I wanted to restore this one. It's just so clean. Uh, man, there's no rust through anywhere. You got this patina, and I mean the metal smooth as can be, from where the paint came off. <clears throat> Beautiful Dart GT. And I've been wanting to redo that one for a while. 7071 Plymouth Fury 3. Got a little bit of a dent right there. No rust. One owner. 318 V8. Rebuilt. Got like four grand worth of receipts. Rebuilt. Um, tranny. 97,000 original miles on the car. The car runs and drives beautifully. Same kind of deal. I really hate to be the one to pick these bad boys apart. And I try to sell them together. And it's just a good deal. Dodge is sold. Fleetwood Flare Motorhome. I'll show you that a little bit. 81, 82, 83. Um, Pontiac Le Mans Safari, I believe. <laughs> In the year I can't tell from this tag right now. Early 80s, Pontiac Rally wheels with that spider web. Honey, it's got spider web on it for sure. Honey, pull up. Yeah, Le Mans Safari. I love the noses on these. I want to restore this car. Shoot, I want to do that with all of them. Ah, they blew my tag off. Can you believe that? That tag was on here and someone blew it off. Dang it, I think it's a 350 too. It's either a 307 or a 350. Itty bitty wagon. Great big old motor. It's the same motor as the huge full size ones. We love the green. Interior is nice. It was a one owner car. And, um, I mean, in good running. 83 Mustang Convertible. 70-something. Two. Saab Sonnet. Three. It's a nice little fiberglass V4 car. Great for export. Um, the 83 Mustang has a rare 5.0 convertible. The Sonnet, I've got a complete um, review on this one. It's a manual. You can see that. The Custom Deluxe 20 with the camper. Woo, buddy! This is an actual camper special truck. This thing is just as nice as it gets. You got your actual big old 950 16 fives, like new, just put in. Little titties everywhere. Actual camper special. Got your little KOA looking thing. Look at the interior. There's a full video on my site here. I don't know if the battery's any good in this. Look at this, this is beautiful. Nowhere. We'll see. Oh, no battery. And it's hard to see in the sun the thick wood though. It's got AC. Great shape. Uh, the 88 Custom Cruiser, that's a year or two new to import. Ah, here we go. Mazda RX-7, one owner, rotary. And not only is this just a cool one owner target top car, 
It needs to bolt it down a bit. This is a one owner 37. Come on now. Can you see that? I can't yet. There we go. 37.5 something. Um, this thing runs and drives beautifully. It is an absolute pleasure to drive. Um, and it's just clean as can be. Um, this one will be, I shut the door too hard because it just glides shut. This one will be coming up real soon. Great for export. 83. Happiness was his plate. Let me get you what year it is. 85. Clean as can be. And so is that custom deluxe, by the way. Um, look at these wheels on this caddy. I think it's too new to import, though. I know it was an 86, 7, or 8. But I'm thinking it was 7. I gotta check. White with red interior. They locked it. So now there's no way for me to tell. Okay, well that's fine. Let's look at the inside of the Fleetwood. What is that, 90? So it's a little too new to import. But if you're over here in America... Actually, I don't know how the bigger things go. Maybe you can import more. I'm actually going to put carpet in it. Uh, it's in great shape. It's only got 33,000 miles. But the way they put this carpet in to replace it, I didn't like. Sure is nice. Makes me want to go on a trip. 86 Corvette. LT1 with the gaudy wheels. Not only are they gaudy wheels, they're gaudy. Spell both ways. These were the wheels in the car to have back in the day. Yes, sir. Bonneville Brome. And that tire don't come with it. With the skirts. Very cool car. Um, 403. Somebody wants this thing, man. This is the exact car they're looking for. Landau top. This Corvette's nice. Um, all this stuff, it's got a layer of dust on it. Even if the paint's beautiful. That paint ain't beautiful. 90 Merc. That's going to Germany. Um, I'm going to say that's an 87, 88. 90. That's a little new there, too. One owner, 90,000 miles. 92, 93. Supercharged. Too new for export, though. I've been driving that back and forth to Montana. 02. Here you go. 380 SEE. 87,000 miles. Euro model. Sunroof and all. 80, 81,000 miles. Super clean. I haven't even cleaned this up yet. And this cloth don't last. I was fixing a window regulator in the back. BFGs. Shows you the GMC. Shows you the Fiat. It's going. The Magnum's sold. Uh, 79 SD. Flat tire, no key. Uh, I actually have a key and it won't work. I have every key except for the ignition key because somebody changed the ignition. So that's 120 bucks. Mess around with it and all that. It's about 184 or 511. Man, and I'll tell you what, the seats are beautiful. Beautiful. And I get some where it's just worth it to take them apart. I hate to do that. I hate it. 320 SEL, clear coat peeling. Pretty clean car though. Cheap. Cheap, main thing there. 84, 85, 500 SEL. These are the ones to have right here. Nice car, bright royal blue or whatever. Seats have got some cracks in them and such. But it's a clean car overall, 166 on it. I'll sell this cheap, super cheap. And I've got nine W126s right now. Um, lots of them. 
beautiful car. Got a lot of it right now. Um, 68 Volvo P1800S. Um, it's a manual. Um, let's see here. These are in great shape. Volvo wood wheel. Manual. The guy told me this wasn't AC. Bull crap, that's AC if I ever seen it. Maybe they put it in out of something else though. It doesn't look too factory. Could be. I don't know enough about this car. Highway City Off. Oh, that's interesting. Feels tight. Gotta love the manual. Batwing look. The Saint. Cool car. Got it locked up where I'd show you the inside. Got the red Jimmy GMC Blazer here. Want to check the year. 88. Yep. It was too new for export. But I'll tell you what, if you're looking for one of these in America or Germany or somewhere where they don't hit you for the VAT, I might get that seat fixed, but this is a nice, clean, original, just clean truck. And in bright red, very cool with the red and white. 350, tight truck, um, Cherokee Chief Coupe. Chief S. I've got two of these here. Um, green one in my other yard, and this one here. This is a very nice rig. Runs great. Black interior, white exterior. I am going to want to go downstairs in a second here. I'm almost done here. We'll go downstairs and show you the rest down there. There's some cool stuff all walked away. Chief S, and it's not all rusted out or nothing. This is a clean Jeep. I mean, any of these, some of them you're going to restore. Just no doubt about it. This one, I got to kind of tinker around with. That one's got a locked motor. I'll sell it so it's cheaper to make your head spin. This one's a nice clean rig. Well, once again, Nathan... 406-544-6919. Deal of the day right there. Get that from me before I do anything else for it to it. And it's got the issues up top there you can see that we kind of covered up. Clean as can be 84. Great for ex export. If you're gonna have to deal with that. I mean look, there's no rust screw here on the bottoms. The bottoms and the whole thing on this truck is just clean as can be. I hate to take it apart, but the motor's locked up too. But right there on those both sides, and this side on the top didn't get it. And none of the bottoms got it. None of them. Seats aren't the perfect shape or nothing, but this is a great restoration project. Deal of the day. Not the cracked up dash. Uh, it's a Wagoneer. Um, it's not a Grand Wagoneer, is it? It's a Wagoneer. Huh, I think so. I like them wheels. Yeah, it just says Wagoneer. I will take, um, God, give me $875 and come get it off my lot. Okay, we're gonna do the ones down below. The 280SE going to Chile, and it's not Chile in Chile. I love this car, and it saddens me deeply that I sold it. Um, I pictured myself driving it with the sunroof down. Um, 8, 1986. Oh, wait, wait. 1979. W116. 450 SEL. Beautiful car. Euro headlights there, I think. Um, this car has clean exterior. The interior is nice. Back seat's great. Front seat's got a little wear on that piece. I was going to fix it, and I can charge me about a hundred bucks but a guy should do the whole base on both of these just to where they matched and looked good low miles 135 on the car back seats look great it's hard to do with the sun on them 
Um, other than that, the 1986 560, everybody running every direction around here. 560 SEL, I got the hood up right now. But this is a beautiful car. Um, like I say, I've got about nine of these right now. And this one's great for export, uh, 1986. I even got a SL in an 86, uh, 560. You see the interior around this bad boy. I love these big long doors on these things. Oh yeah, it's nice. I gotta look because I forget how they all are. We've got so many of this body. That's that. Um, gonna follow Trent and go downstairs. I showed you the whole upstairs. Showed you the whole top lot. I think that's about the lot lot. Um, here's another 20 minutes. I'm going to clip these together here to where I'm able to show everything. And we'll go down in the inside here and see what we got as far as cars in here. There we go. Oh, yeah. The Ram Charger sold. Going to Australia. It made in 87, but it's in, made in, wait, wait, made in 86, but it's in 87, so it would have been good for export. God, the wheels are nice. Um, this one I haven't done anything with yet. Town Landau, um, Thunderbird Town Landau. Absolutely beautiful, in and out. Runs and drives great. I put up a shorter video of this on my site um, channel. Nowhere anywhere. I forget how many miles. 73,000 original miles. One owner. Uh, yeah, I put it up on my channel there. And kind of a help me out thing. This has the 4.2 liter V8. Um, super cool motor. Um, everybody says, well, it ain't got much power. Well, it ain't got the power of a 351 or nothing. But 27 miles a gallon is what I'm hearing it gets from people. <whistles> Another export one here. 82 Granada, sweet wagon. One owner, everything on this wagon is just absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. All the chrome trim, you name it. Now I did a full review of this one and I don't have it up just yet, but it may make it up before this video. Um, how many miles, 58, 63, 57. I was close, it is 58, 57, nine. That's 58 if I ever heard 58 console thing. Oh yeah, man. Now I got a 84, 85 LTD out front. Kind of cool how this is the same exact body and platform as that Thunderbird, Thunderbird, Thunderbird Town Landau over there. Outback Sport, yes siree, Impreza. Something special about this car. One owner, all-wheel drive of course, but there's only 33,000 miles on this car. And there's just a couple little dings right here. And I didn't want to paint over that, over just the little dings, so I haven't. And I've left it like it is. I gotta get this one pictured and out of here. Uh, it's a nice car. And I really dig it. I like them scoops on the hood. Like, like new is hard to say about anything. This is as close as it'll get, man. <laughs> Doors open and close. Pretty close to like new. Well, one other car guy. I'm gonna clip this back on in a second and we'll start again. Show you the other thing. Well, here we go. It's about six minutes left on this film here. I'm gonna go ahead and film the rest of the couple along this here. I've got a Mercur. I'm an XR4 Ti. I really dig them, but got a couple things to get done on that before we go much farther. Um, it is a one owner. Uh, super clean car. Uh, the interior is really nice. Automatic. I think it was 93, excuse me, 94,500. Um, it's a little bit darker and harder to see. Sunroof model. Um, forgot the package on that. Cool little convertible 72 laser. Um, back in here, I hope you open this up for me. Yeah, you did. 
Um, not, oh, that'll work. Great export car there. 81 Dodge Ram 250 Power Wagon thingy. <whistles> One owner, 33,000 original miles. This truck is nice. Look at that orange just shine. This is as nice as it gets, okay? That's just, look at this. See, I was gonna buy a new shift boot for it. He had a piece of something shoved there. Ain't no wear on the pedals at all. This thing is clean. Clean, clean, clean. It's a clean, mean, hauling machine. I wouldn't restore this. I'd just drive the heck out of it. So that one's great for export, 1981. Uh, now when I wanted that piece of trim for the side, and I'm missing one hubcap on the other side. 80, no, no, this is a 90 or 91. Yeah, it's getting close to the last year model. 560 SEL, like I say, I've got all kinds of these. What's he's got on a Kumho's or Integ Goodyear Integrities. Great newer set of tires. I love the big back doors. Tan interior, great shape. 90 on this one? 91.6. I'm close on all of them. It's hard to keep them all straight. 260 cars to keep straight the mileage and details on. It's hard. And if you call me up, I had a guy tell me, well, you're rude. You can answer all my questions. Well, does the AC work on this one? Does the power windows work on this one? I go over it in the video. And then people call me up and want to know individually about each thing. Well, I put it in the ad, and I try to be as upfront as possible. But by the time the car gets lifted, I don't. I don't want to lie to you. That's my main thing. Caravan, or Voyager, Grand Voyager. If you want a good deal on one of these, this is a Woody. It's low mile. That was the reason I got it. It's got the trim stuff here kind of peeling a little bit. 84,000 at least. Okay, I lied. I drove it a couple miles. 84,032 miles. Great shape. I was trying to fix the horn. Just got the fading. These are neat, neat trucks. People definitely dig them. I gotta show you the one over here before my camera dies here. 78 Pontiac Brome, Bonneville Brome. Sweet car. I wish I had all four, I guess you'd call them turbine style wheels intact. I got all four, but they see how the fins fell off there? Versus this one's pretty complete. Sunroof. I'm going to take this and get that sewn up right there. Um, this is a one owner car and there's only 74,000 original miles on it. I don't think you can see that in here. Headliner's great shape. This is a beautiful car. Runs um, 403 motor in it and it is a chrome model. I love Oldsmobile and Pontiac. Well, Website, www.oneownercarguy.com. Ooh, got the Jag in there too, supercharged um, XJR. How's it going? Yeah, I heard uh, Trent told me. I'll be back down in like five minutes. Um, Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. I'm gonna go up and try and show you a couple up here real quick. I got a minute 32 left or so www.oneownercarguy.com and I will plug in another chunk here I'll bet. Oh God, I love these old W116s and W124 and W126 and W14. God, put a W and a three numbers together and I'm in love. Toyota Camry V6LE complete review on it of this one on my channel and records like you ain't never seen before. Every tank of gas the man filled up with. He wrote down and kept track of what he paid, how many miles per gallon he got, the whole deal. 77 on it. Um, this one, it's got dirty. It's set up here for a while. 84 or 85, baby LTD wagon. 58 or 60,000 original miles. The car is just absolutely beautiful. It's locked up, of course. And I won't be able to see the miles. We've got the Oh, I got a complete review of it on here, but just clean as can be. Oh, there you go. 
needs to go back to Germany or Netherlands. Um, just the... You don't see these. You just don't see the baby LTDs. Well, my name is Nathan, 406-544-6919. I'll give you a last little outro here in a minute, and we'll see what we can show you and show you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the second lot over here, and I'm just going to do a real quick rock, walk around on the way out. I got this diesel Volvo. If you need parts, I'll get you any parts you need off of it. I got my three-row limo still. I just refuse to get it out of here and take pictures. I dig it. I dig these little W123 limos, and this one's only got 97,000 miles. I don't even know if you could find a W123 that kind of miles cheap anymore. Um, 250, I believe. I gotta look for you. 250, I believe, is the number. Yeah, 250. And it's got an odd bigger motor that I can't find a carb for right now. 250 or 280C. Forget on this year. I think it's a 71, 72 model. In a W. What is the W114? It's a 70. I love these earlier models of the. 280s. These cars are severe, severely undervalued. Set to go up big time. The SEs are super expensive. This one's going to be gone today, I believe. No, actually next Sunday. 75 Buick Limited Landau 225. Sweet car. Got a 76 Cadillac Seville. This one, the interior is just absolutely beautiful. 350 car. Just want to throw this in on the other video there to where you can see just absolutely everything I've got here in San Diego that is too new for Netherlands but sweet 21,000 mile Eldorado a nice little liftback GT I haven't cleaned it out or nothing yet it's in beautiful shape it's got low miles it's a manual I love these little brushed aluminum edges it's got your little hooching down GT 73 Buick Centurion. Let's go, Samantha! 84 Seville. She's trying to take off and go to the swap meet, and I'm holding everybody up. Wanted my dad to look at this Riviera we just got in. I don't believe it's a um, Netherlandsable thing either. Netherlandsable. Had to take the lens cover off that for a different car I have. Oh, got to see the front of that Centurion. Just absolutely beautiful front end. You don't see a lot of these Centurions around. I love their logo there. So sweet. Or emblem, whatever you want to call it. Through the cobwebs or not through the cobwebs? Over them. Oh, that didn't work. Lexus, too new over, for over there. Nice car, though. Um, this was a 88. Yeah, I think so. 89.90. The 90 was 72 on it. This is good for export. Really rare in the Buick wagons. You don't see a lot of Electras. I thought it was so cool being an 85, 86. And they had the fake um, <coughs> entry thing. I gotta make sure it's right here. Oh, damn it. It's an 88. I like the steering wheel on it. Somebody out there could tell from the grill, and they're like, you idiot, that's not an 85. Uh, 450 SL. Nice low mile car, clean inside. I got all the records and everything with it. 135 on it. 82, 83 Sentra. Couple bumps and bruises, but non rusty, clean. See, that's a little bit straight. One owner, I believe, also. <clears throat> um, the 59 sold. Saab 96. Super, super cool little Saab 96. V4. Got a flat tire on the other side. Turista. 1971. I love the way these windows roll down. Super, super cool. And the little protector there. 79, I believe, with 100 on it, or 87,000. 
Got an 89 GTA with 25,000. Interior of this is absolutely beautiful. 23,223, or 28,223. <coughs> Excuse me. Got my little tear in that. Just blew off last night. Gotta get that fixed. Diesel, W123, got a bad window. Samantha, can you fix the tarp here? Cherokee Chief, this one's coming up real soon. I've got another one of these in my other yard. I think it's the wider fendered model, the wide body model. This one has the I put new carpet in it. It's awesome. Love the coloring. Love that western looking, southwestern or western look on that strip going up the middle. 300E, I believe it's a 90 though. Okay, Euro car, 280 SE or SEL. I'll have to look. <clears throat> I love these lights on the front. Ah, no, no stinking thingy things, tags. It is a 280 and it is a Euro car. Um, you can tell from lots of things, but. Especially the fact that they never sold this car in America. Beautiful car. I love the red. 75 step side Chevy Custom Deluxe C10. 350. I got a locked up motor in it. I got a stinking 450 horse 350 sitting in Montana on a pallet that we're just gonna stick in this bad boy. It's a manual. It's a nice car. Nice car! It's not a car. 86.560 SEL. Got this one pictured a few weeks ago. The Peugeot 604 is sold. The Paris edition El Camino Cadillac. We're going to redo the wood in the back. The interior on this car is beautiful. Runs and drives beautifully. Everything is beautiful and beautifully today. That's okay. It's a DeVille that they changed up. I want to make sure and get that closed. I'm going to have to... There we go. Ah! My grease pen. Nope. Empty one. 380 SEL or SE. Beautiful in and out. Um, that Lincoln I'll sell. So cheap it's pitiful. Check out the full review. I mean, cheap. Brooklyn. Got, oh, oh, oh. 220S. Oh, 6'9". <laughs> I got them everywhere. Triumph TR7. Mercedes-Benz 6'9". Uh, 65. 220S. 68. 230 manual. It's a beautiful car. I've got another one sitting. Um, two of these 6'9's. Um, let me see here. So if you're looking for one of these, there you go. Let's get you from the front of these real quick. Beautiful. Oh, a little bike. I did a review on that. I sold it to a guy. Took his deposit. I've held it over a year and a half. No, about a year. Excuse me. They ain't picked it up. They ain't came paid me off. So, that little $200 deposit is just about worn out. And I'm a little tickered. Buy that green truck for me. I'll shove it in the back for cheap. Well, okay. The Jaguar. A 4.2 or it's a 4.2. I don't know. I don't know on this one. This one's super rare. I researched and figured out everything I could about it back when I bought it. It's super, super rare. They don't have them in America a lot. It's not the eaty meaty one. Um, it's the big one where you had a driver and you was the baller and all that. But... That's the deal. I can't wait to do the review of this one. Got the trays in the back. The log for a dash. 77 350 SLC Euro model. Um, I like these SLCs. Some of the most undervalued Jaguars you can come across. 
seats are pretty good. Floors and carpets are just beautiful in this car. The car only has 59,000 original miles. Um, it's beautiful. <clears throat> Couple more. My car, 78 Trans Am. Um, you see no scoop there. It's got about a 700 horse blower motor in it. I just haven't finished it up. It's kind of faded on top. It's the sleeper car. They'll be like, look at that prick. Ah, ha, ha, ha. He's got an old piece of junk. Oh, I'm gone. Hey, where'd he go? Where'd his piece of junk go? Gone. That's just where I go. I'm going to get a headline. I'm thinking about redoing this car. Repainting it. The motor's been redone. 460, I believe. Could be wrong on that. I got too many cars and too much to keep track of. The Brickland. Uh, 351 car, the 63 Tempest Le Mans is sold. And that is it for our walk around. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Don't know what else I could possibly tell you about any of this. Um, www.oneownercarguy.com. Check out my website there. Um, check out some of my other videos. I've got over 715 of them on here. All kinds of unique one and two owner Euro classic and muscle cars. I sell them cheap, S500 up there, but this is more for Netherlands and stuff that's pre-86. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Nathan, 406-544-6919. I'll handle the shipping. You handle the shipping. Come over and drive it around America. Stay in one of my trailers and for free and ship it home when you're done. I don't care. Let me know. I'll be glad to help you. Can't wait to get back to Netherlands and visit your country again twice a year. I, I want to move over there. That's all there is to it. I go twice a year now, and I want to be over there. Call me up. I would like to have a lot over there. We'll ship five of them over and sell them from your place. Well, that pretty much gave you the once around to the outside. And this is the export video. The Netherlands, Belgium, and Germany, and Australia. Heck, wherever you want to export American cars, I can definitely get you some of the American cars, cars from America. I got lots of European cars here. Um, so that's the once around of the lot. The camper special there is just waiting to be exported. All these cars just waiting to be exported. Showed you downstairs, showed you the Jag XJR that's almost done. Um, inside, 65 GTO. Just got it down from uh, Montana. I bought it down here actually when I was like 16. God, that's 22 years ago or something. Um, 21. And I've had it all that time. I had seven of these. Um, all cool cars, all convertibles, except for one. And I sold them all and got an average of like 55, six grand a piece out of them. So that got me on my Trans Am bender there. Now, well, that's the Citron DS21 here. And I've showed the interior and stuff. There's a video of this on there. It's in good shape, but. The leather needs to be replaced on the interior. It's a great driver. The mechanicals are great. We just put a paint job on it. I didn't have the hood open because we couldn't... Um, we had the key in the ignition and we couldn't figure out how to get it to work. Uh, you got to read them manuals. And I had a guy ask me if it was an AC car. And I thought it was... I'm looking for the compressor, and I that looked compressor-ish, -ish. compressor-ish. -ish. I'm gonna look inside and see how the inners are. Maybe you tell me. Oh yeah, that don't help much. On a vents, blue and red. I'm gonna say this doesn't have AC. I don't think so. Huh, I love that brake pedal. Pretty cool. Leather's still soft. It feels good. Um, oh, I showed you the go. That's a tri-power four-speed, by the way. Um, little rescue Annie there if you need a rescue doll. CPR dummy. The Maserati is sold. Well, this might be cool to export. A little Honda Passport. Like an 81, 82 or so. It's in good shape. Uh, but what we're coming over here to show you is this 84, 85 Corvette, bright red, one owner, about a hundred and a quarter on it. Um, you really can't see it all that well in this lighting, I don't think. 
interior is absolutely beautiful. Doug Nash, I believe, 4.4 4 plus 3. Um, Tranny, 130, excuse me. Absolutely beautiful car. Great for export, great year. Target top. Got the goat here, I showed you that. I'm going to show you the inside. While we're walking around. My name's Nathan, it's 406. Need to grease that. 406 544 6919. 68 Stingray convertible. Nice car. L78, is it? What is a 327? I forget the code. I think it's an L78. I don't remember. Got too many codes and things swirling in my head. Manual. AC car manual. Seats have been redone. Had some stereo equipment added. Looks great. Now, I don't know how hot these are in the Netherlands. This is an actual GT, and it's an early model in the 87. So you really start looking cooler in this year. Got the really more rounder look and everything. But it's an early model, so it was manufactured in 86. Should be fine for export. Um, absolutely beautiful. One owner, right around 100 on it. Love them snowflake honeycombish wheels. It is a GT. And it is very, very nice. I've got a full review on my channel. And the 300E, I do a lot of these 84, 5, and 6s. This one is sold. It actually is going to Netherlands to a dealer over there. And it's a beautiful car. <laughs> I gotta show you in here. These California cars are cleaner. And they are better maintained, it seems. And I do lots of one and two owner. Just clean classics. But it's sold. Why am I even showing it? Hot air balloon. I will ship the hot air balloon over there, no problem. Paraglider. Got the paraglider. The paraglider's cool. I don't have the wing, but I'll get that someday. I'll tell you. Then you can go take off. Just run out in that log. Wow. Take. Oh man, that'd be cool. Well, www.oneownercarguy.com. Lots of unique one and two owner classic Euro muscle cars. Man, I sell them cheap. That's all there is to it. This 560 SEL, beautiful car. Coming up real soon here. You're going to see all kinds of stuff on my channel. Make sure and call anytime. I done told you, 406-544-6919. And name's Nathan. It's 406. Gave you the number. I'm not going to give it again. I was trying to give the webpage. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And, man, that's it. Definitely call me with any questions about any of my cars. And that's it. I'm used to doing the reviews. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm supposed to tell you about a car. But there's not because I'm not ending on the one that I'm taking the picture of at the end. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Have a great day or night. Import, export, any country in the world. We'll see.